Today on the Automation Minute, I want to talk to you about a question I got from Leighton over at theautomationblog.com on an article I wrote about making Panel View Plus trends historical. And again, I'll put the link in the description if you want to see the full Q&A in the article. But basically, his question was, how do I get more than one data log to start up at a time? And now, going all the way back to when the panel, even before the Panel View Plus, to 6182, uh, Versa View CE industrial computer, right? In version 1.0 of View Machine Edition, you couldn't run more than one data log. At least I never remember you could. And the limiting factor here is you can have a bunch, right? I think they support up to 20. Now, in RS-332 and Factory Talk View, they would let you run 20 data logs at a time simultaneously. That was the limit with RS-332, which kind of came over into Factory Talk View. But with the Panel View Plus and View Machine Edition, you can only check one to run on startup. And there's never been a way to run more than one. Okay. And originally the Panel View Plus had very, very tiny memory space, right? Today they have more memory space. But, you know, just to be sure, I opened the release notes for, you know, version 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8. You know, and I cover these all on the automation blog. Every time a new release comes out, I, I try to look in the release notes, see what's uh, new and exciting. And I couldn't find anywhere where they ever changed this. So the answer is no, you can only run one data log on a panel view plus at startup. And there's no other way, no button, no script, no anything you can do that I know of. If you know of, please let me know. But I've never found a way to run Moto 1. I've asked the factory about it several times in person back in my previous career. And they said, no, 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 no plans to do that. Now, I did say, you know, hey... You may want to check out Data Store Plus because Data Store Plus, you can run multiples of those at a time. And, you know, early on, that was a very buggy little ActiveX, but it got much better over time and, uh, you know, was much more uh, fault tolerant, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now it's even easier to use that because they you can actually open up more than one display at a time on startup, which is a nice new feature. I don't, is that 12? I can't remember. But anyways, uh, that's a great new feature they added in. Um, so in any case... That was the Q&A with Layton. And um, if you want to see that, again, I'll put the link in the description. But with that, I uh, just want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them over at theautomationblog.com or click on the little question. Now, can't guarantee we'll get to everybody's questions. I still have questions that were sent in that I just haven't had time to feature on the show. But, you know, we can't cover them if you don't submit them. So give it a shot. Go over to the automationblog.com, click on question, submit your question, and it, we may cover it on the show or in an article or both. With that said, I want to wish you all a very safe, happy, and healthy week. And until next time, my friends, peace.